I seriously can't believe it's been a hot minute since I've talked about Zoe Laverne in my videos. There's a lot of people on TikTok using my name for like clout. Ugh, never mind. Y'all, she's back, I guess. Hey loves, your drama queen is here again this week to serve y'all the best yet the most problematic tea ever. And just when we thought the TikTok community would calm down a bit this week, unfortunately, it got a lot worse than you would totally imagine since Zoe Laverne revealed the truth about grooming children. Keo Sear got exposed for cheating on Olivia Potton for the third time. And Alex Warren also got canceled for offending millions of people. Yeah, you can pretty much tell it's been a rough week for most of these TikTokers. So let's jump right into the video and see what these guys had to offer us. Wow. Zoe LaGroomer really came back into the spotlight just to prove that she isn't going to jail. Anyways, as most of you guys have seen lately, it's been quite a while since we had any new updates on Zoe Laverne, and for a moment, I was hoping that she would take a break from the internet to focus more on herself. But I guess she likes being called a groomer now. No, for real, you guys. Ever since Zoe got exposed recently for still interacting with the TikToker she allegedly groomed, people started throwing a lot of hate at her, to the point where she took a step back from social media and stayed in her own lane for a solid month. Until she decided to surprise us with her presence this week, you guys, after thousands of people started spamming her comments under her TikTok videos for being a groomer. And obviously, she decided to snap back at many haters in the comment section by saying this to them. Her after she grooms kids at the preschool. If I was a threat to children, I would be in jail. I didn't groom anyone. Thanks, babe. Ain't no one falling in love with you. Bye. Dawson is. Are you going to quit? No. Yeah, you can definitely say Zoe isn't going anywhere, but she did recently turn her comments off under some of her TikTok videos since, well, I guess she wasn't really ready to face the hate yet. And guys, she even decided to post a bunch of TikTok videos after, basically addressing the backlash she's still receiving, while also admitting to kissing Connor like it isn't that big of a deal. Ugh check this out. There's a lot of people on TikTok using my name for like clout. Do something good with your platform that makes you gain views and likes and a fan base. Here's the thing. None of you know me as a person. What are you going to beat my ass for? You're going to really take the time out of your day. You're going to beat my ass or do this or do that because of stuff that you see on the internet. None of you know what actually happened. Police got involved with my situation and I'm pretty sure if I was a threat to children or if I groomed him, I would be in jail. I kissed a minor. Yeah, that's awful. But I got help and took accountability for it. Despite how this video was making hundreds of people furious, she decided to add more fuel to the fire and go off on her haters for still focusing all their energy on her and not something positive. There's so many people on TikTok, like not even just influencers, but other people with smaller platforms, but like still have a platform. And they post personal things, obviously, because they don't really have anyone to talk to maybe. And they post because TikTok makes them happy and they want to like feel something again. And the amount of negativity on this app is ridiculous. I think a lot of you need to like genuinely think about like how your words can affect someone. Like you don't even know these people. You don't know their story. You don't know anything about them. You just judge off of what you see and it's pathetic. You know what? That's it. I can't deal with this woman anymore. <laughs> Anyways, immediately after she posted these videos on her TikTok account, she turned the comments off to avoid getting dragged for saying a lot of nonsense again, but poor little Zoe failed at gaining her supporters back on social media since she still got attacked for trying to play the victim in the situation like she didn't kiss a 13 year old boy. Here's what people had to say about it. She still has photos of Connor on her Instagram. Her parents never taught her to take any real accountability, obviously. Women like her make me scared for my own sons. She should honestly just date one of the Lopez brothers. She looks and acts like a child. Predator characteristics aren't cute to have, just saying. Anyways, loves, what's your opinion on Zoe Laverne receiving hate again for trying to address her scandal? Do you think she should quit social media at this point? Let me know in the comments down below. It's been almost a year since Keo Sear and Olivia Potton broke up, and now the truth is finally coming out. Girl, 
what took you so long? You know, the tea between Kiyosir and Olivia Ponton is not only confusing me, but it's confusing many people around the internet since, well, whenever we find some info about Olivia and Kiyo, they're either flirting with each other or getting exposed for being cheaters in their relationship. But I must say, the last time I mentioned Kiyo in my videos, he was getting exposed by his close friends for still having feelings for Olivia. And of course, that gave many of their shippers hope that there's a high chance of them getting back together. However, as soon as the situation got a lot of people talking on social media, Olivia decided that it would be best if she cleared things up in a YouTube video saying that she would never get back with Kyo again. Would you get back with your ex? <laughs> no. True. Oh! Okay, Lou! Alright! As y'all can imagine, after this short clip immediately went viral everywhere, a lot of questions started going around about Olivia and how she was fast to switch up after she was flirting with Kyo the other day. But then an unknown girl decided to give all the answers by exposing Kyo for cheating on Olivia with her last year. Kyo cheated on Olivia Ponton with me. Yay! Not a minute after this unknown girl threw a huge accusation on Kyo, it turned out later on that she was actually actually saying the truth, y'all. Kyo was also caught following the unknown girl on Instagram, and that's what cleared the situation all up. So after the truth was revealed on the internet about Kyo and the reason why Olivia wouldn't get back with him, a lot of people came to the conclusion that Olivia was innocent after all, and Kyo is the one to blame for being a cheater. Here's a few comments about the situation. I'll never forgive y'all for bashing Olivia. And y'all were defending Kyo. I got a laugh. Should have trusted Mr. Chase Hudson when he posted that notes list in July. Anyways, loves, what's your opinion on Keo getting exposed for cheating on Olivia? Do you believe the story was all made up? Or is this actually the truth about Keo? Let me know in the comments. Out of all people, Alex Warren is now getting canceled for having a dark past? So, yeah. Apparently, Alex Warren was one of the few TikTokers who hasn't been exposed for having some kind of dark past. But unfortunately, he received a lot of backlash this week for saying something offensive. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to defend Alex right now and pretend that he hasn't done anything problematic throughout his career because we all know damn well how he got dragged last year for trying to copy the vlogger David Dobrik in his videos. Ugh, back when the TikTok drama wasn't about grooming and sleeping with minors. Take me back, please. Please! Anyways, now let's get to the serious part of today's topic because I'm pretty sure the internet wasn't ready for this to happen. Earlier this week, you guys, the TikTok community was in shock when a video of Alex and his friends Tyler Funk saying the R slur went viral on social media. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up! Let me get it started! Beat me with the Robins! Look at our started! Yeah, apparently this video of Alex has been on the internet for years, you guys. Yet, some people out there decided decided to dig some dirt on him this week and expose Alex for saying the arsenal in the past. And of course, a lot of you guys expected Alex to end up getting canceled for the resurfaced video, but he was lucky enough to have the majority of the TikTok community beside him, since it was cleared up later on that the arsenal was normalized back in the day. I'm not gonna say anything because I didn't even know it was a slur until 2020. Y'all realize this was before it was considered a slur, right? I think this was before all the arsenal thing, but oh lord have mercy. Anyways, loves. What's your opinion on people defending Alex for saying the R slur in the past? Also, let me know your thoughts on today's recap video down in the comments below. I love you so much!